Gather round, disheveled crew, and welcome to Disheveled Panels. First, I'd like to thank the amazing Snake Eyes Comics here in Knoxville, Tennessee, for the opportunity to review Image and Skybound's Universal Monsters Frankenstein. You would think that me being me, I would have already had read Dracula and the Creature from the Black Lagoon, and I unfortunately have not. This is my first chance to get to read this. Universal Monster line and um, I was uh, very much looking forward to it. Michael Walsh not only does he write this comic he actually drew the comic as well. Colors by Tony Marie Griffin. I mean guys this thing it is awesome. This comic is awesome. Michael Walsh. I know Michael Walsh from, uh, he actually drew one of my favorite Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man issues. The one that Chip Zdarsky wrote, uh, issue number six, Dinner with Jonah. He done a few Jughead covers uh, for Jughead the Hunger. He also has done a lot of illustrations for magic cards, including the Creep Show magic card. For Image, he has done a few things with the creep show comic so he definitely knows horror and this comic here is going to prove to you guys that he knows horror as well michael's unique take on this classic tale it is through the eyes of a grieving child and the cliffhanger of this issue is going to leave you screaming for more it is amazing my only criticism would be a that Image didn't give him a 12 issue series rather than having to cram it all into four issues because I think at times I wish he had more time to breathe. There are a few things that I felt were kind of rushed around. Like for instance, um, when Fritz goes to the university top thing and um, when uh, Elizabeth uh, Frankenstein comes to uh, visit the tower. Uh, I, I thought that time jumps for those were were a little a little rushed and you know I, and I'm sure that's a page count issue because everything else in this comic is amazing. Trying to pick one panel in this comic was hard. You know there were plenty that it could have been. I mean trust me there are plenty. I give you a couple of glimpses of a few here here and here. I mean there were so many more than even that. But the one I'm going with is this one here. Because this one actually... I felt a connection to this one because as soon as I saw that panel, I thought of when I was a kid, I had this glow-in-the-dark rubber Frankenstein. He was like immobile. He just stayed there. No points of articulation. Nothing. But dude, I loved that Frankenstein. And seeing that panel just flooded my memories of that Frankenstein, of that toy. You know, it's, it's a toy I, I really wish I still had because, you know, I would have loved to pass it down to little Jay. But, I mean, just this, this whole book. I cannot wait to see where this comic goes. Have you guys read it? Um, it, it actually hits your shops today, so run out to Snake Eye Comics, or, you know, if you're not here in Knoxville, you know, go to your nearest comic shop and jump on this comic. Michael Walsh just done a phenomenal job. So, like, on the back, uh, it shows you all the different covers that are, are available. All these color covers are hot. I mean, I, I, I look at them and I'm like, yes, I could. Uh, I would have loved to have that one. Even even the the, the one here in black and white. Uh, I mean, even that. I mean, uh, Michael has an amazing black and white. I think there was an Ashcan version of this comic at San Diego Comic Con, and dude, even that thing looked outstanding. Uh, I am glad to have Tony uh, Marie's coloring in here because she does an amazing job. But guys, thank you for standing behind the comic book videos. Uh, I see your comment, Mr. Gray, and I will I will give you at least 12 more of these videos. Uh, thanks for always being there for me. Uh, if you guys would, uh, check out Atomic Snack Bars uh, YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. Um, if you like sci-fi, 
if you like apocalyptic stuff, if you like old school monster movies, um, he has he has the videos for you. Um, so until next time, please stay spooky and keep it disheveled.